All right, today we have a new battery from EnjoyBot. So this is a 48 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And this model has their 200 amp BMS. So if we look at the specs here, we should see, yes, we can do a max continuous discharge at 200 amps. And we have Bluetooth and low temperature protection. Uh, let's see if we can get a weight on this guy. And we have come in at 81.8 pounds. All right, let's go ahead and charge this guy up. All right, and I've got their BMS app installed. And so we are currently putting in 19.9, almost 20 amps. Uh, we're at 51% state of charge right now. So we'll just let it continue to go ahead and charge up. All right, guys, the battery is 100% charged, as we can see there on the app. And I have it plugged in to my 6000 XP now. And I have a dryer hooked up to the 6000 XP. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna throw in this basket of wet clothes. This came out, just came out of the washer. And we're gonna dry it. See if we can dry these clothes from this battery. We'll set a timer over here. And not only try to dry these clothes, but see how long this dryer will run off this battery. So if we finish drying these clothes, then I'll just let it keep, uh, I'll just let the dryer keep uh, running after that. And we'll see how long we can make this go. All right, so let's get started here. Let's turn the inverter on. There we go, it's powering up. And then we'll go ahead and turn the output on. Okay, so the inverter is currently idling. We are uh, pulling 1.6 amps out. So let's go ahead and turn the dryer on. We'll set the timer for, I don't know, 60 minutes or something. And let's go. There we go, we're on. Let's start our timer over here. And according to the app, we are pulling almost 6,000 watts out of this battery. 119 amps coming out. We hear our inverter over here ramping up its fans. Uh, so I'll let that go and I'll check back here in maybe 20 minutes and see where we're at on the drying. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we have been running for 20 minutes now. Let's take a look at the app. And we are at 57%. So we've got, we're still pulling 118 amps out, almost 6,000 watts. Uh, I think I want to let it run a little bit longer before I check on the dryness so yeah we'll let it run maybe 10 more minutes and i'll check all right so we are at 30 minutes now so let's go ahead and stop things for right now all right so we'll pause that timer so we can restart and let's see how we've done Oh, <laughs> yeah, our clothes are dry. That's completely dry. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's dry. Okay, awesome. 
I actually feel like that probably was dry sooner than 30 minutes because this is really dry. Uh, and it's it's not a huge load. It's, well, as you can see, a basket full. All right, so we dried a basket of laundry. Let's take a look at the app. All right, so we've got 39% of the battery left. Not bad. I was actually thinking that <laughs> you know, a dryer uses so much power. I really thought that maybe this would maybe get one one run of the dryer, but I'm actually kind of surprised by this. All right, so I've got the outside doggy towel. This is what we dry the dog off with whenever he gets in the pool. It's actually dirty, but this is an old dryer, so I don't mind. Uh, we'll throw that in for now just so that we have something in there. And let's go ahead and start this back up. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and start this back up. And we'll start this again. And so we are now back to pull in 6,000 watts. So we'll just let that keep going. All right, so we are at 46 minutes. And the app says we have 8% left. Drawing almost 6,000 watts still. 122 amps. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty close to this thing being done. All right, so the app is saying 1% left in the battery and we've gone 50 minutes. Uh, so the voltage on the battery is not too low. It's yeah, so now we're at 0. So it's it's actually got some more left in there. Uh, we'll just let it keep running. Okay, so yeah, the dryer turned off. It may have been uh, the inverter saw that the battery voltage was low. So I stopped it at 52 minutes and 33 seconds. All right, guys, so there you go. We were able to run the dryer for 52 minutes and 33 seconds. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll leave links in the description for all these things that I've used here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.